We actually have another supporting study that we can look at. I've put this in other videos in the past, but I also made some mistakes in those videos by also saying that in this particular study, it, it observed 0.5 milligram to 2.5 milligram dutasteride versus one milligram finasteride. I just really misspoke in those videos. But in this particular study that I'm going to mention in a moment, it's observing 0.02 milligram dutasteride up to 0.5 milligram dutasteride versus one milligram finasteride. But anyway, this study is titled, quote, a randomized active and placebo controlled study of the efficacy and safety of different doses of dutasteride versus placebo and finasteride in the treatment of male subjects with androgenetic alopecia, unquote. Long ass title, but it was written by Walter Gubin Harcha et al. And it shows dutasteride ranges between 0.02 milligram to 0.5 milligram tended to be more superior than one milligram finasteride with the 0.02 milligram dutasteride performing worse than one milligram finasteride. However, the 0.1 milligram dutasteride and the 0.5 milligram dutasteride outperformed the one milligram finasteride. Now, I find this study to be a great resource due to its methodology and high subject count. You have 917 men that participated in this study and it was both randomized and placebo controlled with different doses of the compared drug being dutasteride. 0.1 milligram and 0.5 milligram of dutasteride was shown to be more effective than one milligram finasteride when it came to both hair count and width.